guys, Barbara here from BarbaraMakesCrafts.com and I'm here to teach and inspire you to level up your crafting game. Well today I want to show you how to create a design in Canva which is a free graphic design website. You can design so many things and it is very easy. They make it so easy, drag and drop, for you to just create your own design files. So you can use them in Design Space or if you use a silhouette or whatever their program uses. They do have a paid version if you're interested in that that gives you some more features such as use un unlimited use of stock photos for no additional charge. They do have some with the free version, but some, most of them, you would have to pay like a dollar every time you used one. They have thousands of templates to help get you started, but you can also start just like a, a blank page whatever size you need and this is what we are going to be making today and it's completely using the free tools from canva and this tote says does this bag make my papers look graded kind of a does this dress make me look fat just a disclaimer here i am not sponsored in any way by canva i'm not affiliated with them in any way so let's let's go ahead and get started All right, so here we are in canva and we are going to well we're going to go to my home page here and we are going to create a custom size design and we are going to very important to change your measurements before you add any uh, width or height because if you leave it on pixels and then try to change it it converts the pixels to inches and that doesn't work out very well so i've got it changed to inches and i want the width to be 6.75 inches and the height to be 9.25 inches and the reason i wanted that size is because that is the maximum size that the Cricut will do a uh, print and cut. So now we want to bring in our elements. And the first thing that I want to bring in, I want to bring in just some graphics. Let's see, apple and crayons. And the reason I'm bringing these in first is because once I put the lines and the words in, it's just hard to get back to these. So I'm just putting them in and put them off to the sides. I'm going to actually leave that one a little bigger. I think I kind of like it. All right, so I'm just going to push these out to the side so that I can play with them later. And now I want to go over here to Elements again and add just a straight line. So it looks like this is the one that I want to use. And I want this line to be about five and a half inches. No, we'll make it five inches. All right, and I'm gonna duplicate this. We're gonna work for 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I'm gonna begin moving these lines down just like this. And you can see these uh, pink dotted lines show up um, to help guide you to where everything lines up evenly. And when I have the three there, I know that I'm centered about right. We'll just continue bringing these down. All right, so we're just placing these. So I'm going to move these slightly off. I don't want to move them all the way off the page because that will require <laughs> some, I mean, we can always get them back, but it will just require a little bit of extra. So 
I'm going to go ahead and group those so that we can move it. So now we want to add our text. And to do that, we just come over here and add our tag. Just, just hit on text. And we're going to add a heading, which is the larger, although we will make it smaller than what it is now. And we're going to select a font. And I have used this Aloha, Aloha. It's not Aloha, it's A-L-O-J-A. I have used that one, so it looks kind of like a kindergartner or a young elementary school child would write. So I thought this would be a good one. So let's see. Now we want to bring in these fun little elements here. And something right in here doesn't give me a warm fuzzy. So I'm going to delete that. And let's see what we got. I'll pull the crayons down just a little bit. All right. So now we want to uh, go ahead and download this. And to do this, we're going to click on Share. And down here, we'll click on Download. And it comes up as I uh, want to download a PNG. And we want a transparent background. And now we just download. All right, perfect. So now we'll close out of Canva and open up Design Space. And we are going to go right up here and start a new project. So as before, as we've done many times in Design Space, we're just going to click on Upload. And despite of what, what you see here, the exact thing is not uploaded into Design Space. Th those were some practice prints. So I'm going to browse and I want to browse my downloads folder because that's where it downloaded to. And I've got right here, does this bag. So looking at it here, I think it looks pretty good. Now over here, when you upload a PNG, file or a print and cut file um, and ask you if it's a simple design, moderately complex or complex. Complex is with a lot of colors and um, details and things like that. I always choose that so I can get the highest quality design that I can. So it wants me to preview the image. So that is what I will do. Now you will see that we get a cut image and a print and cut image. If you choose the cut image, it's going to print exactly like you see it right there in the, in the black and no color, no nothing. Now, while this one will work like that, there are others that just absolutely will not work if, if you uh, put everything in black. So let's upload the print and cut image and see what happens once we get it there. Okay, so now we just want to select it and add it to the canvas. Okay, and it is saying, you see this warning here, it's saying that it's too large. It came in as a, looks like about an eight and a half by 11. So we're going to change it to 6.75. By 9.25 and lock it back. Now, in order to get this to cut the way we want it to cut, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole thing. We are going to need to alter this design just a little bit. And so what, what we'll do now is select all right here. They kind of changed that icon, but um, but there it is. So we're going to do an offset 
and it's going to come in at a quarter of an inch, but we want the offset to be um, way smaller than that. So let's do, let's try 0 0.05 and see what happens with that. Well, it didn't offset anything. Let's do 0 0.15 and see. So what we need to do is that that black mess there just about scared me, but then I realized what was going on. So we just need to pull that off for a second, and I'm going to turn this offset piece white. Design back in it, and guys, it's really kind of hard for me to see the white. Let me get back a little bit and see if I'm kind of close. Okay. So you can see over here with it offset that it is too large and we'll fix that in just a second. But right now I want to select all and I want to go here and flatten. So it's making it all one image. And now I will just size it down a little bit so that it falls within the dimensions that the Cricut will let us cut it. Okay, so now I want to size it for my tote and I measured the tote and the size needs to be about six inches wide and seven inches high to fit on my tote. Okay, so now it is time to make it. Just go up here and select make it and we can see that it's going to cut. It looks like it's going to cut like I want it to. Now Anytime we're doing iron on, we do need to turn the mirror on. So be sure and do that here at this step. Hit continue. And it's asking us to send it to the printer. So that's what I'm doing. And it's got the correct printer. I've added bleed. So we'll be good there. So we'll just print. All right. So I am going to actually set this to copy paper. I think I'll do copy paper and I'm going to use default pressure. Okay, so you can see that the Cricut here is ready for us to load the material. And then we'll load it in the mat. All right, so now we just push the go button. And I will be I will get my heat press while we're waiting for that to cut. A few moments later. What happens when we pull this off? this bag down first and then the rest of it make my papers look graded I'm gonna go grab a piece of butcher paper to put over it while we press it down for an added layer of protection Just press it down and hit the go button Okay, now we're gonna pull a little bit. A few moments later. like the 143 vinyl heat transfer printable vinyl much much better so 
Well, that was super easy, wasn't it? Canvas tools and templates and elements, they just make it so easy for you to design your own files for whatever you want to use them for. There's Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's literally the easiest program I've ever tried to use for graphic designs. I am not a graphic designer in any way. <laughs> well, if you got any value out of this video, go ahead and just give it a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, I have a Facebook group designed just for that. I'll link to it down below but you can get answers to your questions there. I try to answer very quickly and I try to make it a forum so that others can answer too. You can show off your projects and you could possibly even help somebody else find the answers that they need. So I'm going to link to that in the description box below and I hope to see you there. So until then, happy crafting!